School crushes. We've all had a crush at some point in our lives. And me, I had many crushes back in the day. And of course, I started to develop crushes back when I was in middle school. In elementary school, I was on my ew, cooties, girls are gross type shit, you know what I mean? So it's appropriate that we start with the middle school days and we just keep moving our way up. So we gotta go back deep into the birdie lore. So take my hand. Pause, maybe not, maybe not. All right, you know what? Fuck the intro, we're gonna get started. I was in the sixth grade and it was a regular day for me. And now I've seen this girl in my class many times but i guess this girl took a particular interest in me no i just had that suave man i had that swag no i didn't i was one of the highlighter kids like on oh god bro i had absolutely no drip at all but this girl somehow still liked me i don't know and now i didn't really have a big crush on this girl or anything but you know i thought she looked pretty good Wait, 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 at the time, at the time. Don't take that out of context, bro. And then this girl DMs me and she says, hey, uh, do you want to go out with me? Like just directly in my DM. She doesn't even say hi, nothing. She just straight shot her shot, bro. And now in this moment, I was thinking with the right head, thankfully. You know, I didn't really want to date in middle school because I just thought it was a waste of time. I just said, no. Nah, that would have been cold, bro. I said, nah, I'm not really looking to date right now. And then I just went back to playing Clash of Clans on my iPad. And then I get another DM from her and she says, please like it really doesn't have to be that serious and then i said no again and i went back to play clash of clans that's right bro cock before hoes all right i'm not saying that again what the and then out of nowhere all her friends started texting me like why would you say no to her you're gonna make her cry i'm on the phone with her right now and she's bawling her eyes out why would you do that and guess what i did bro guess what i did i folded bro i folded to this day i don't understand why i folded i just felt bad and i was like okay i'll date her i'll date her and from that point forward i have entered my first awkward middle school relationship and this is basically how it went i literally just texted her over the phone bro that was really it and i just sat with her at lunch and she didn't even like look at me bro it was just a complete waste of time and when we were at the lunch table her friends were sitting there like you guys need to hold hands oh my god and we both just did not want to be there like there was no point of even doing that like we wanted to live our life bro but i guess the reason why she wanted a boyfriend I guess she wanted some kind of status at the school. And this becomes very evident later as she breaks up with me over this app called Uvu. Fucking Uvu. Whatever the hell that shit was. It was a stupid ass app. I don't know why the fuck I used it. And after two weeks of such a great relationship, she broke up with me over that app, bro. I'm so serious, dog. And I kind of almost felt free in a way. Like, I did not feel sad or anything like that. I was glad because, I mean, I didn't want to do that shit anymore, bro. Like, it was just awkward, bro. Like, the Conversations consisted of Shawa. What's your favorite color? Um, I like pink. Dash cool. That was it, bro. It really did not go much deeper than that. But in seventh grade or late sixth grade, I don't really remember. I developed my first crush. And she was in eighth grade. So I didn't think I had a shot with her at all, bro. Do you know what you do have a shot at though? Being one of the a hundred people who cop a bird gang plushie, link below. As of me recording this audio, there's only 30 plushies left. So if you want one, pre-order yours now while you have the chance. Link below. Below. But most days at lunch, I would see this girl, right? And this is what I would do. My plan was my friend would sit with her and a few other people sometimes. So I would go over there and sit with them. And I did this in an effort of getting closer to her, hopefully. The first time after talking to her, I thought I was so smooth. I thought I was suave. I was over there like, excuse me, madam. Do you happen to have a kick account? All right, don't ask questions. Look, I don't know why the fuck my entire school used kick when I was in middle school, but that's just how it was. There was a lot of creepy weirdos on there but i was completely oblivious to that but surprisingly she gave me her kick account all right and then we would message each other back and forth but after that i was head over heels for this girl every time i would hear like a love song or something like that i would just fucking think about her bro she had a young birdie fallen in love and did i succeed you thought i succeed absolutely not bro i did not succeed i sat down with her one day at lunch bro and we were talking and everything was going well and then all of a sudden i just ripped mean ass bro and she just smelt it see i don't know what was in them school lunches but jesus christ bro it was bad it was probably burrito day or some shit i don't know she smelt it and said ew who was that and uh she knew it was me dog i was literally sitting right next to her bro like it was pretty fucking obvious after that bro i was in my first 
Juice World era, as what they call it. He wasn't even around at the time. I was listening to like Marvin's Room or some shit. But later in my middle school adventures, as we got closer to eighth grade, there was a girl that took an interest in me, but I don't know. I didn't really like her like that. And again, I did the same thing. Like, how did I let that happen twice? Now I was dating this girl for like two months. It was the same type of thing again. Let's just say I sacrificed a lot of time with my friends to be with my middle school girlfriend. I, I don't know what I was doing, dog. At that point in life, you shouldn't be worrying about that at all, bro. Then one day I was at a basketball game with her and her friends and they were like, bro, you got to kiss her. Oh my God. I didn't want to, bro. I'm just going to keep it on it. I didn't really like her that much. I, I just felt like I was doing it to make her happy. Again, I didn't want to make her upset. So I just did it. And then it was all over social media. My parents found out, my friends found out, and some people were clowning me badly and low key, man. I kind of deserved it. I'm not going to lie. And my mom even told my family about it. She was like, Bert, tell them about your girlfriend. And I was thinking like, why do I even need to tell them? We're going to be broken up in a month. And everybody in the family, they were like, hey, he's got a girlfriend over here. I knew he could do it. <laughs> I'll have to see it to believe it. After that arc, she texted me saying like, hey, yeah, I don't think this is going to work out. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not surprised. I knew that was coming. And of course, she took Taken for three months out of her bio. No. But enter high school. At this point in my life, I had a few crushes, but I wasn't exactly looking to date. And there were also people who had a crush on me. Now, I met this first girl in my freshman year. It was her and her three friends, and we were all locked out of the athletic facility. And they started striking up small talk with me. And I got all three of their Snapchats. So I, of course, felt like the GOAT, man. I felt untouchable. And now they were going to the football game on Friday night. And I was going with one of my friends anyway, so they invited me to go with them. So I was like, Sure, why not? And now we were watching the game. It was halftime and one of the girls suggested for us to go on a walk. So we go into this woods like next to the football field and it was pretty dark. And now the girl that liked me said she was scared and she wanted to hold my hand. And I didn't really like know her like that. This is like my first time meeting her, right? And I also didn't want to give her the wrong idea or anything because I didn't want to date her. And everybody in the group was like, come on, just do it, just do it. And eventually I folded again. Like, see, there's a common theme here, bro. Like I just keep folding every fucking time. But I was sweaty as shit, bro. Like, I felt so uncomfortable. I was hearing word from people not to date this girl, so I didn't want to. In my freshman year, of course, I was so desperate to be popular. Like, I wanted to be popular really bad. So I was thinking, like, I didn't want it to hurt my reputation. But what fucking reputation did I have? None. As we were getting closer to the soccer field in the woods, she asked me if I would have any interest in dating her. Now, at this point, I didn't really know how to feel. So I said, maybe. I wasn't sure yet. And then later, my friend kind of pulled me to the side a little bit and asked me if I was uncomfortable and I said yeah a little bit and that kind of hurt her feelings a little bit and I felt bad after that like I didn't really know what to do I'm gonna be real with y'all man I dodged a bullet that's all I'm gonna say now in high school I did have crushes right but I never really fucking talked to them bro I never really had the balls to do it but later as I entered college and I saw this girl in my class and I was like damn bro she kind of bad like I low-key want to talk to her so I did bro at the end of one of my classes I made an effort to talk to her now in this interaction bro i was cooking man like she was smiling she was laughing at shit i was saying i was like damn bro this is going really well we were walking and talking for about like five minutes and then i asked for a snapchat because i'm like damn all right i think this went pretty well maybe i could ask i did and i got the snapchat of course and then i messaged her like yo you seem really cool like i would like to get to know you do you want to hang out sometime and i didn't hear back from her for a while and i was like all right maybe she's just busy a full day passes i felt like I was definitely getting violated in the girls group chat. I was getting fucking flamed to another level. She was like, hey, it was really nice talking to you the other day, but I have a boyfriend. And I was like, fuck, bro. The one time I actually get my shit together, she has a boyfriend. After that, I kind of just ended it politely. And my journey trying to get girls continued when I went to this college party. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's kind of mid. Everyone hypes up college parties to be the greatest thing ever. It really wasn't. It was a decent experience. It wasn't amazing or anything. I go to this party and we're all stuffed in this little ass house. Like, it's not going well. And I really gotta step out like every five minutes to get fresh air because motherfuckers were blowing vape clouds like crazy. Like, the whole John was hot box. Now, me and the duck were at this party and there were a few girls that came up to us. They were talking to us about like general things like, oh, what's your major, blah, blah, blah. Now, I didn't really know if the girls were just being friendly. I had no clue. But unfortunately, I did not shoot my shot. But as I was leaving the party, I saw another girl. I don't think she came from that party, but I was like, you know what? 
fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to her. So I did. I said hi, and she was drunk as hell, bro. She was like, oh my god, what are these freshmen doing here? And her and her friends just <laughs> laughed and walked away. And I was like, damn, bro. Shit, I guess I'm just gonna go home. Well, that's what I did. I took my L and I went home. What did I learn from getting curved left and right? Well, I don't fucking know, bro. I learned jack shit. But yeah, those are my school crushes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go follow my new Instagram account. It's birdie.new. I'm gonna follow like around the first hundred people back. So go do it now.